Some of the content presented in this video is repeated in the video titled Garmin G1000, Altitude Selection Knob, Altitude Bug, Alt Key, and Altitude Hold Mode. But this video will focus more on the topic of vertical speed. The vertical speed tape is to the right of the altimeter and is used to show how fast the airplane is climbing or descending in feet per minute. Right now the black arrow, which is the vertical speed indicator, is centered showing we are neither climbing or descending. When we initiate a climb manually, we can see in this example that we start to climb at 200 feet per minute, 400 feet per minute, 600 feet per minute, and higher rates. As we lower the nose, we see the numbers decrease, and when the vertical speed indicator gets below center, we start to show negative numbers indicating a descent. So we are now descending at 200 feet per minute, 400 feet per minute, 600 feet per minute, and higher rates. The vertical speed key, or VS key, is used in combination with the nose up and nose down keys to control the rate of climb or descent in 100 foot increments. The VS key is located in the lower left corner of the primary flight display or PFD and the lower left corner of the multifunction display or MFD. The nose up and nose down keys are also located in the lower left corners of both the PFD and MFD. The system uses the elevator trim to maintain the rate of climb or descent. Often the VS key is used to go from straight and level flight to another altitude. In our first example, the autopilot is already activated. We are flying straight and level at 2,000 feet MSL and want to climb to 3,000 feet MSL, so we set the altimeter to target 3,000 feet. We press the VS key and can see it activated on the PFD. Now we can control the rate of climb. Each time we click the nose up key, we increase the climb rate by 100 feet. We can settle at 300 feet, or if we want to decrease the rate of climb, we can click the nose down key. I will click the nose down key one time to decrease the climb rate to 200 feet a minute. Now I will click the nose up key until I increase the rate of climb to 500 feet a minute. Once the aircraft reaches 3000 feet, it will level off. Now this time I will descend to 1500 feet. I will set the new target altitude to 1500 feet. And press the VS key to activate the vertical speed mode. Again, we can control the rate of descent using the nose up and nose down keys. I will initially press the nose down key until I reach a descent rate of 300 feet a minute. If I decide to increase the descent rate, I can press the nose down key again. I will press the nose down key until I reach a descent rate of 600 feet a minute. Now I will decrease the descent rate to 500 feet per minute by pressing the nose up key one time. Once we reach 1500 feet, the aircraft will level off.
Also, when using the autopilot and in a climb or descent, there are a couple of other ways to level off. For example, when in a climb, you can press the nose down key until the vertical speed indicator is centered, indicating you have leveled off. The other way when using autopilot, and a way I prefer more than using nose up or nose down keys to level off, is to use the ALT or altitude hold key when you reach the target altitude. So if I'm in a descent and I want to level off at 2000 feet MSL, I can press the altitude hold key when I get near the altitude and it will level off at 2000 feet. Now in this example, I clicked a little early so it leveled off at 2100 feet. I do want to mention when you climb from straight and level flight, you will often want to add power. When you are in a descent from straight and level flight, you will often want to decrease power. You may have also noticed a magenta line on the altitude tape. Based on your climb or descent rate, the line will show you where you will be in six seconds if your rate stays constant. Note that the line will change as you vary your climb or descent rate. In this example, we are climbing at a rate of 500 feet a minute. Right now, the top of the magenta line is touching 3,000 feet. This means in six seconds, we will reach 3,000 feet MSL. Subscribe to this channel to learn more.